Welcome to Deep Sea Dave. In this episode, we will discuss what the is graph and is print functions do, look at examples of how they are used, and create our own implementations of these functions. The is graph function tells us if a given character has a graphical representation, that is, it tells us if the character is an alphanumeric or punctuation character. So a punctuation character can be not only the English grammar punctuation characters such as exclamation mark or question mark or comma, but also things like the plus sign, the point symbol. So basically a graphical character is actually anything that has basically a symbolic representation. The C17 ISO standard gives the function prototype and description of what the isGraph function should do. Next, the isPrint function tells us if a given character is a printable character. That is, it tells us if the character is an alphanumeric, a punctuation, or a space character. So note the difference between isPrint and isGraph. Essentially, isPrint also includes the space character. Um, whereas is graph does not because the space is essentially shown as an empty space and so is not does not have a graphical representation but it is considered a printable character and that will make more sense when we discuss the control characters in a future episode. The C17 ISO standard gives the function prototype and description of what the is print function should do. As input, the isGraph and isPrint function take an integer value. As output, the isGraph and isPrint functions will give a non-zero value, which represents true if the input is an alphanumeric or punctuation character, and additionally for the isPrint function, a space character. Otherwise, the output is zero, which represents false. For example, isGraph will return a non-zero value for character inputs of lowercase a, uppercase a, the digit 5, the pound or hash sign, and a zero value for the character inputs space and backslash n, which is one of the control characters I previously mentioned and will be covered in another episode. The isPrint function will return a non-zero value for character inputs of lowercase a, uppercase a, the digit 5, the pound or hash key, and also a non-zero value for the space and it will give a zero value for the character input of backslash n. Our implementation will support the standard ANSA ASCII values. The printable characters have ASCII values ranging from 20 to 126 continuously so the graphical characters will also then be from 21 to 126 continuously. And so we implement the isGraph function by checking if the input character C is greater than the space character and is less than or equal to the tilde character, where the tilde character is at the very end of the range, i.e. is represented by the number or the ASCII value 126. And we also can implement the isPrint function by checking if the input character C is a space character or is a graphical character. And just note that we could have done this the other way about where we defined the isPrint function to be a value of C between the space character and tilde character, both inclusive, and then implemented the isGraph function by checking if it is a printable character and if it is, then it's also not the space character. That's everything for this episode and I'll see you in the next one.